Hey yo, YTPC, how are we doing today? It's your boy Jake, Ziggy Num Nums, reporting from my bitchin' little kitchen, and I'm coming to you on a Friday. That's right, a Friday. I have a Friday off. How do I have a Friday off? I didn't change my schedule up quite a bit. I've got an event on Tuesday, and my girlfriend's going to a show tonight. She's going to go see Eddie Izzard. Uh, so this is my first me day I've had in a while. Um, I tried to get into a chiropractor. They keep the strangest hours in this neighborhood. Couldn't get in there. Uh, my barber's out of town for the weekend, so can't do either of those. So I'm going to go run a couple errands here in a little bit. But before that, I'm going to pop this tin. Capstan ready rubbed. I'm excited about this. I grabbed this tin at the Chicago Pipe Show a few weeks ago. I got it from the Ewan Rees booth, stand, table, whatever you want to call it. Um, it was like 18 bucks, which is a little more than I usually pay for a tin because I'm kind of cheap. I go between like the 10 to 12 range, just me. But uh, I'm like, you know, no big deal, when in Rome. But then I looked at the back of the tin, and I noticed that this has a few years on it. April 2013. So we've got about a six-year-old tin here. And uh, I've got some free jars. I'm ready to try some new stuff. Let's give her a gander. Uh-oh. Smells already coming to me. Already. This little tab doesn't want to come up. Okay. Stuck to the top there. Okay. Oh, that smells nice. Give that a look. See. I think this is just Virginia's. There might be some Perique in here. I, I don't know. I didn't look into it too much. Um, it's kind of moist. It's got a nice balance of Virginia. It has both that sweet citrus smell while also kind of that earthy, bready smell you might recognize from some other Virginias. I think those are the reds that give it that smell. I could be wrong. Mmm. But it smells so very nice. Uh, I'm going to set some of this out. And um, I think I'm going to take it to the park later. So, catch in a bit. Well, that little trip didn't totally go as planned. Uh, such is life, I suppose. Uh, did all my errands, um, went to the bank, paid my rent, reloaded my laundry cards, uh, you know, just mundane errands, got some lunch, you know, grabbed some sushi. Uh, I was going to stop by one of the parks out here, sit down, but they were kind of um, occupied more so than I would like. I'm not terribly social. And... Um, also, the wind is acting up. We've got kind of some weird weather. It's finally warming up. It's in like mid-70s, which is awesome. But the way the wind's blowing right now, it's either completely stagnant, or when you get somewhere where there is a breeze, it's um, too strong to really enjoy a smoke or anything, or even probably get one lit. So, we got the capstan. Loaded up into the uh, Molina... 101, I believe it's a 101, Cumberland, still pretty sure it's a bent pot, I haven't smoked it much in a while, kind of get reacquainted with it, um, I've been on cake patrol lately, kind of checking out some of my lesser used pipes, or uh, mostly my briars, and uh, just kind of seeing 
how well I've got the heels caked up, and I've been trying to smoke some a little more off and get that uh, cake in there. This and my Peterson have been uh, towards the top of the list with that. My Stanwell also smoked that quite a bit over the last week. So uh, we got our first light out of the way. It burned for a good five minutes on the first match without going out. So uh, let's just pick it back up, shall we? so graceful. I would much rather be outside right now, but um, eh, I don't really feel like dealing with people, even so. I really want to relax with like a book or something outside, but I don't know. I don't really feel like being out there anymore. I think I've done enough. I think I'm going to stay home. I can't really sit outside either because out front is loud windy, people always want stuff, and then this back stairwell too, people come storming through here, and I just can't really get much peace, aside from being in my own place, but, you know, what are you going to do? That's city life, I suppose, especially this one, been looking at different ones to go to, uh, my girl and I have a couple different ones in mind. So, as far as this blend's concerned, in my first five, ten minutes of smoking it, it's just uh, just a mellow, sweet Virginia blend. I think this is what uh, Luxury Twist Flake wants to be when it grows up. I think that's the last Virginia blend I smoked. Had a little bit left over, but it's got a bit of a chemical sweetness I'm not crazy about. That might mellow out a little bit with age, but this is a good blend for today, though, with it being a bit warm. Virginias are good for warmer weather as summer approaches. I smoked quite a few vapors over the winter. Just kind of seeing what I would like, um, what I'd want to stock the cellar with, or what I might want to be smoking over the summer. I've got several tins of Escudo, and I've got another one on the way. Um, and then a couple other vapors. I've got quite a few vapors in the cellar right now. I went through it last night, and uh, I've got quite a variety in there. So, looking forward to just keep on burning through those, and... Letting some of them age and just, uh, you know, seeing what suits my taste. I think that's it for me for the day. I think I'm going to kick back, maybe with my book or put on a movie or something, and uh, I think I'm just going to chill the rest of the day. Do some laundry, because I have to, you know, got to squeeze that in whenever I can. I'm going to burn this down and... Just enjoy the rest of my day. Thanks all for watching. Till next time, y'all stay hungry.